ist das? There's the part you missed. Hey guys, it's me, Stella Sims 101, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims Life Stories Part uh, 2. So, uh, in the last part, uh, we got up to chapter 2, I think. We just finished chapter 2. So now, we are going into chapter 3. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up. Oh, Mickey's still here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I forgot he was still here from, uh, our quote-unquote date with Agora, I guess. It was like a... She was like our third wheel, basically, because, you know, she wishes she was with Mickey, but she was really just the third wheel. Let's be honest here. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to be recording part two. I'm very excited, and we need to use the restroom, uh, clean it actually, too, and take a shower. And then we can, I guess let's dance, let's just dance. I. I don't know. I feel like dancing is better. Let's dance solo. Actually, then let's not take a shower. <laughs> we should dance first and then take a shower. Oh my god, the carpool's arriving in an hour. Okay, let's actually take a shower then. And then let's uh, play SX3 until we have to go, which is now. But I think we can wait until a little bit... Before we really have to go. Alright, now we have to really go. Alright, first day on the job. Good luck, Riley. Look at that handprint on there. That's great. Alright, Operation Get to Know Mickey. Success. I think I've made some good progress with Mickey. I'll hang out with him a bit longer and then say goodnight. There's a lot to do tomorrow. Okay, well, we already did that. That was from yesterday, so let's see what time should she end? 2 p.m. All right. I love this music so much. Like, I'll, I'm gonna comment it on it. I'm gonna comment on it, like, every single episode just to warn you guys, because I just love it so much. <laughs> Riley has returned from work. Riley earned 2.40 today. Wow, that's a good amount. Let's pick up this can, actually, and clean up. And we have, uh, what are they called? I forget what they're called right now. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, we just read that. Okay. Alright, now let's get our fun up a little bit. Let's play some SX3. This whole Gora problem really has me tense. I think I, I'll give for Oh my god. I think I'll give Fiona Fortuna a call and see what she's up to. I wonder if she's still at work. All right, well, we're going to play some video games first, because Operation Let's Get Our Fun Up. All right, we'll phone her. I like how it says phone her, not call her. All right, we're good. Answer the phone. It's probably Fiona. Watch it be Fiona. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's Mickey. All right, goodbye. <laughs> we need to call Fiona. Hello. Uh, talk, right? Mm -hmm. Dylan Kincaid moved into Four Corners two weeks before you did. Oh my, Dylan Kincaid, my old flame from high school. What a coincidence. I wonder what brings him to Four Corners. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hopefully it wasn't, like, her first love, because that would be bad. You, you'll never get over those. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was a good phone call. <laughs> okay, so my ex-boyfriend arrived in this town two weeks before I did. I can't decide whether that's creepy or not. Anyways, he was an immature girl crazy kid back then and I'm sure he still is. Yeah, teenagers, am I right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's take a shower and then clean. And yeah, clean the fish tank and feed them. Oh no, I think they died. That's why it took 55 simoleons. Oh no, that's kind of sad. All right, let's clean that and then let's feed the fish. And let's mm, have some chef salad. For dinner. And then let's go to bed. Woo! 
Day three. Pretty okay. All we had to do was make a phone call the whole day and then that was about it. So that was pretty, pretty, pretty low key day. I'd say. Let's see what we would dream about. We dreamed about Fiona. We we're dreaming about friends. Again, about Fiona. <laughs> okay. And then about Agora. Must be a nightmare. Um, Alright, and then... She should be getting up pretty soon. Okay, okay here we go. make her bed. Put, throw that away. Let's use the restroom. Feed the fish. And then our carp will be coming really soon, which is fine because we're literally good to go. <laughs> I'm going to play some video games right before we go. I wish I could do that on a school day, like just play some video games right before I have to go. That'd be so nice. <laughs> I would really like that. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. Whenever I hear that, I keep thinking that the goal is changing. <laughs> All right. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. I'm probably going to start skipping stuff like this, like when she goes to bed and when she goes to work, because it's really just me chilling, talk to, talking to you guys, commenting about the music, you know, nothing really special about that. <sighs> same old, same old, so I probably will skip over it. Ryla has been promoted to assistant. More work for just a little more pay. Being an assistant means having to juggle many responsibilities at once. The key thing is to please the boss so she, so you can get promoted. Riley now works from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., now starting immediately. Riley brought home 350 simoleons today and got a bonus of 700 simoleons. Man, I need to get Dylan off my mind. I know what I'll do. I'll invite Mickey to dinner at the Starlight Cafe. That should keep my mind off old memories, right? Sure, Riley. Sure. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's call a taxi. Um, will it, is it gonna prompt me for, um, yeah, I was, I was actually wanting to, um, kind of, um, go with someone. <laughs> invite us into a community lot. Let's invite Mickey. <clears throat> it's always a pleasure to see you. I'll be right over. Alright, Starlight, Starlight Cafe and Market. Enjoy a romantic outing at our bistro-style cafe enjoy featuring a full-course meal for the discriminating sim. In a hurry, then shop at our market featuring the freshest produce. Alright, let's go. What does this say? Invite Mickey to the Starlight Cafe. Okay. Alright, here we go. A little outing with Mickey. My boy Mickey. <laughs> I actually haven't, is Starlight Cafe in, are these like things in The Sims Life Stories? Are they in The Sims 2, I wonder? I don't th think they are, but I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, I like, keep like clearing my throat right now. My throat is like going out. My my voice is going out right now, not my throat. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> All right. Yay, Mickey. All right, let's see. Checkmate, Mr. Smith. Maybe Mickey would like to play a little chess with me before dinner. Because they... That's what that's what you want to do right before you go out to dinner. You want to play a little chess. Although I was captain of the high school chess team, I'll go easy on him. Okay. <laughs> Not even going to comment on it. Hello. Alright, join me. Uh, ask to join. There we go. We gonna beat you, boyo. He wanted to play chess too, alright. <laughs> that food smells so good. I better get a seat with Mickey before I start slobbering all over him. Out of hunger, of course. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, let's go be seated. All right, here we are. Can we do cute little things at the table yet? No. 
Alright, well, we'll just talk to him. Okay, hello. Uh, for me, I will have a chef salad, and for Mickey, I'll get him lime seared prawns. All sounds very good. Alright, that was a pretty good meal. <laughs> Dinner is served. Alright. Are we gonna have more food? <laughs> Are we gonna have more food? Um, where's our hunger? Do we need more food? I'm guessing we just pay the bill. Dinner was delicious. I don't know if the atmo if it's the atmosphere or the food, but I'm ready for dessert, Mickey style. A kiss with Mickey will really cap off a wonderful date. I just hope I'm not being too forward. Mickey Mickey! <laughs> First kiss. Yes! Go get it, Riley! Yes! Imagine if he rejected us. I don't think that's possible, though. And the awkwardness of the... This whole thing right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get it, get it, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, they have crushes on each other now. How cute. Oh, oh how cute is he? Uh, Riley, I brought you this rose. Its beauty is surpassed only by your own. I had a great time. That is so cute. Wow, a wonderful kiss and a beautiful rose from such a handsome guy. I can't even remember what's his face's name now. I should probably head home soon. All right. Well, Mickey, Mickey. Oh, chapter three is over. Okay. I had a wonderful date with Mickey. We went to the Starlight Cafe where we enjoyed the beautiful afternoon. We played some chess and had a meal at the restaurant. Afterwards, Mickey treated me to some dessert. French style. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't know why I just thought I would do the hee <laughs> hee. Gosh, what a gentleman. What a gentleman. You don't come come across good gentlemen nowadays. Alright, let's head home. Because we is tired and we has to be. Oh, Mickey wants to talk to us. He wants to gossip with us. Ooh. What about Mickey, Mickey? Mickey Smith? Sorry, I'm gonna like say his full name. <laughs> like all the time. I don't know. I like the way it sounds. Like Mickey Smith. Hello, Mickey Smith. Alright. We still have these. That date was just perfect. Someone catch me before I faint. Oh, oh, congratulations. You have unlocked Vincent's story. Now both stories are available through the main menu. Riley's story is only beginning, but feel free to visit Vincent's too. Oh, yeah. I'm. By the way, I'm thinking I'll probably, um... I'll probably, like, do life stories on like Saturdays but only like once a week I'm thinking I'm not sure though maybe less than that because it is kind of like a secondary LP oh who's calling hello <laughs> Mickey all right well we can get better acquainted with him what's Oh, I was like, since I thought, uh, I thought Aunt Sharon was uh, Fiona, and I was like, since when have we been a hundred with Fiona? All right, we're gonna take a shower, and then let's eat. Let's have a hamburger. Why not? We have a grill. Might as well use it, or not. Or <laughs> not. We're just gonna. Do it off the stove. That's probably why we burnt it. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head to bed and then. Yeah, but I'm thinking Saturdays is when I'm gonna do this. Maybe it'll be like a story s Saturday. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, skip this really quickly and I will be right back. Okay guys, and Riley is awake, so now we're just gonna view the fishies, not even clean or feed them. <laughs> now we're gonna clean the fish tank, feed them, and then 
use the restroom, take care of our little needs, our everyday morning needs. And we'll have some pancakes for breakfast. Hopefully we have time to eat. <laughs> I do not think we will. Okay. On second thought, we will. <laughs> okay, so that literally... I'm literally about to go ahead and go skip now. Because <laughs> that was literally five seconds of our lives but i'm gonna go ahead and go skip and i'll be right okay back. guys and riley is back and i am now thinking that i'm probably just gonna be skipping the whole entire morning to be honest oh my god hi riley i heard from a mutual friend that you were in town how awesome is that say i'd like to swing by your place around 8 p.m so we can catch up how about we make it a dinner is that cool oh um is that who I think it is? What can I say? Hearing his voice brought back a lot of memories. I guess I'm cooking tonight, but I can barely make toast without the fire department knowing about it. I better start reading some cookbooks, so hopefully we can skip the emergency. Okay. Okay, so, um, apparently... What even is his name? Dylan Kincaid is coming over. For dinner. Why do we set the phone on the ground? Is that the phone? Is that the phone? Yes, it is. Why do we set it on the ground? I don't know. So we need to reach, reach cooking level four. So let's study cooking for a little bit. All right. Oh my God. That's probably Mickey. Ah, puppy. <laughs> paprika oh my god I can't even say it paprika I get it now I hope Dylan is prepared for a culinary tour de force what time did he say he'd come by oh yeah 8 p.m. okay all right then <laughs> okay <laughs> that was that was sad Typical Dylan, scheduling dinner when it's convenient for him. Do you even ask if I was up for it? No, I'll give him a piece of my mind when he gets here. He'll probably be late too, jerk. If he doesn't show up today, there's always tomorrow. Alright, let's take a shower. Let's get ready. Or not take a bath. That takes way too long. Let's take a shower. Get ready. <laughs> for the. I'm not going to call it a date because we should be with Mickey. Oh my god, he's here. He's here. Was that him? Oh my god, it was. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Dylan. Hey, brother. How is you? Um, what? No? Riley? Oh my, I'd forgotten how good of a kisser Dylan was. How about I give him a real romantic kiss? After all, it's what I... It's what... What... Oh my god. After all, it's been, what, four years since we dated? That's nothing. Oh my god, Riley, please. Riley, I don't want to do this. Oh my god, Riley, you're just setting yourself up for badness right here. This is not good. Oh lord. Wow, that was nice. Something is bothering me, though. Hmm, really? I mean, I'm not technically dating Mickey, but we are seeing each other. However, it's almost like I'm being compelled to continue on this date with Dylan. Maybe I shouldn't question it. Hmm, maybe you should. <laughs> My god. Uh, being with Dylan really takes me back to my days at good old Bradshaw High. What a pair we were, captain of the football team and head cheerleader. I still remember Dylan running back and forth, jumping up, but okay. Enough reminiscing. I better get started on dinner before Dylan starts rummaging through my trash. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what, is, what should we serve? All right, let's serve some hamburgers. No, no, no. Let's serve some spaghetti. Because, you know, it's more romantic. Because, you know, the spaghetti is like the noodle. And then you share a noodle. And then it's like you end up kissing. And when you eat the noodle all the way, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, like Lady and the Tramp. 
I think that's where that was from. I hope it was. Otherwise, I'm just, like, naming shows or movies. That'd be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> hey, come join me for dinner. <laughs> you don't want dinner? All right, then. Um... So apparently he doesn't really want my dinner, <laughs> which is fine. Alright, let's just turn it off. Eat my dinner! <laughs> Eat my dinner! Eat it! Oh my god, please. Please just eat my dinner. I'll eat it with you. Where are you going? I want you to eat my dinner. This dude. I'm gonna make my- I'm gonna stuff myself so that you eat my dinner. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna watch TV until you eat my dinner. You know what? You just better eat my dinner at some point. Go eat my dinner. <laughs> like... Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! We were supposed to call the guests. All right, well, I'm going to bed. Have, I hope you enjoyed the dinner, Dylan. I hope you enjoyed the dinner. All right, are we supposed to, like, do something? Is he supposed to, are we supposed to? Uh, <laughs> when you mess up at dinner. All right, let's call the guests to the meal and let's grab a plate. Eat more dinner. Oh my goodness! Wow! Our, like, third attempt at eating dinner was excellent, if I do say so myself. I don't think I can get up. I'm so full. Well, that's because you had three servings. Dylan may need to carry me, of course. Okay, so it's a lame excuse to leave into his arms. Either way, I'm going for it. Alright. Um, flirt. No, that's, is it hug? I think it's hug. Leap into arms. All right. <laughs> I can't believe how late it is. Wow, look at the time. 4.30 a.m. I better continue what I'm doing at a more respectable hour. I mean, the dirty deeds happen at night, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's go to bed. Because it's been, it's, it's just too early to be on a date right now. Just too early. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Riley has the day off today, nice. All right, we should be good. Oh my God, is Dylan here? Uh, um, Dylan, you just walked right in. You and Agora, you just walk right in. Okay. Riley, I brought, I bought this the other day and I was thinking of you, I'd like, you to have it as a housewarming gift. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Agora gave us a gift, and I didn't even, like, <laughs> I completely forgot about it. So I'm just going to kind of um, put it somewhere. We can put it right here. There we go. And then we also have a rose from Mickey, which I never placed <laughs> where to place it. Um, let's see. It'll stand on its own, but I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, all right, let's just put it right there for now. All right, now we have a package from Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. Oh, that's nice of him, but I think it's a little too soon for me to start having any serious feelings for Dylan again. I still need to figure out what's going on with Mickey. What did we get from him? A Guilt free mirror. Wow, what a name. <sighs> that's that's actually kinda pretty. It's very it's super cute. That's actually really cute. Alright, let's put it right there. Chapter four. Today was a little strange, what with my ex boyfriend Dylan Kincaid dropping in for a visit. He's a really nice guy, but I wonder how much he's changed since high school. I only need to cool it with him because I don't want to damage anything with Mickey. On the plus side, I learned what paprika is. I said it right! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, guys, that is where I'm going to be ending the part. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you would like to. 
and comment or whatever. And yeah. And I love you all so, so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.